Come on in. My name is Dr. Matt. I'm going to do your eye exam. Okay, so we're gonna have to answer some questions before we begin the examination. Can you please verify your first and last name? Okay, and your date of birth? Okay. When was your last vision check? And do you wear glasses? Okay, what about contacts? Alright. Are you having any eye pain, any discomfort right now? Have you noticed any kind of drainage coming out? No drainage. So describe a little bit the symptoms. Okay. Is that on both eyes or just one? Okay. Mm, right. Have you been to, diagnosed with any eye disorders? Okay. And are you taking any medications on a daily basis? Okay. And how often are those? So today. to have all the information necessary. We're going to go ahead and begin this exam. Okay, so first I'm going to hand this to you. What you'll do is you'll cover one eye. Perfect. And that's very good. So now you have your right eye covered. I'm gonna have you tell me first what color you see right here. Okay. And what color do you see here? Mm, right. Can you tell me what number you see here? Okay. And what number do you see here? Very good. Now go ahead and tell me which circle is larger. Which circle is larger? So I'm gonna go with this circle or this circle right here. Number eight or number seven. Okay. Now can you please tell me what color is the bird right here? Okay. And what about this one? What color is this part? Good. Now go ahead and try to read the last row, starting with the first letter to the left. Good. Let's go ahead and switch eyes. Perfect. Now go ahead and tell me what color you see here. Okay. And can you tell me what color, no, what number you see right here? Okay, that's good. And what about here? All right. And which circle is smaller? Which circle is smaller? Number two or number three? Okay, let's go ahead and what else? See what else we find here? Can you please tell me what shape do you see right here? 
it's a butterfly good and what and what color is this okay that's excellent all right i have one more bird here can you please tell me what what color is the little bird here okay very good go ahead and try to point to the flower Perfect. Okay. Now, go ahead and give that back to me. Good. We are going to do that again, but just a little bit later. Now, we're going to do another test. Hmm. Trying to find this is good. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do now is to tell me what color you see right here. Good. And what about here? Excellent. Now go ahead and follow the red pencil. Do not let yourself distracted by the orange pencil. I'm just going to move them a little bit faster this time and I'm just gonna watch how your pupils dilate so I'm looking at dilation and how your vision shifts from one object to the other if you're able to concentrate and keep your eyes focused on one object only. Good. So keep on following the red color. Good. And on the count of three, I'm going to have you shift your vision to the orange color, okay? One, two, and three. Good. Keep on looking at the orange. Do not let yourself distract it. Okay. Now, I'm going to have you look straight at my nose. I'm going to check your pupillary reaction. Okay, so keep on looking straight. Just going to use a different light here. Keep on looking straight. Very good. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to apply a solution to your eyes. This will help to kind of vasodilate the pupils so we are able to visualize in the back of the eye. You'll definitely not feel anything. Sometimes people report like a bubbly, fuzzy sensation and that goes away within a few seconds. Okay, so go ahead and tilt your head backwards for me, please. Good. Just a few drops here. Okay. Go ahead and blink. I'm just going to blink, blink, help you do that. Blink, blink, blink. Good. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so go ahead and tilt your head a little bit backwards for me. And I'll have you tilt. Good. So go ahead and blink, 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 blink. Good. Okay, so let's just let's not. Okay. So we're going to let that work. I'm going to um, look inside your eye now. Okay. This is an ophthalmoscope. What it does is allows me to visualize any nerve damage or any scratches behind a retina, something that would definitely cause your symptoms. I'm gonna have you look straight behind me at the wall so you can try to look at the Snellen chart, which is right there. Okay, all right, so go ahead and just keep on looking behind me. Going to try to catch the retina. See if there's any scratching. Have you experienced any kind of floaters? Mm. Okay. And do they appear mostly? You look at bright lights. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and switch eyes now. Now, I'm gonna have you look at the plant. Okay. I guess I'm just going to place my hand here on top of your forehead. Mm, very good. Any discomfort when? Doing that. Good. And try not to blink for me, okay? Good. Keep that eye open. All right, very good. Just like that. All right, keep on looking behind me. Right here. Alright, there is definitely some scratching and this eye. Alright. So what I'm gonna do now is I will bring this silver globe in front of your vision. Okay, so in your vision check. And every time you see it, I'm going to have you say bird, okay? I'm just counting how many times you're able to see it.
good. Right, we're going to make a few changes here and I'm gonna have you close your eyes I'm going to touch you on the side of your eyes I'm gonna need you to tell me if you feel it on the left or right okay Wonderful. Okay, now we're going to do kind of a different test. So I have here cards and they all symbolize an action, something that we are doing on a daily basis. I'm just sorting it out for you. And I just want to make sure that your eyes are definitely connecting with your brains and if you're able to identify what the action is, what they're doing and just kind of like describe it in a few words that really helps for me to understand if you're able to visualize the action and understand it properly, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'll have you pay attention to this picture right here and if you can tell me exactly what do you think they're doing? Okay, definitely. Let's go ahead and check this one. What does it look like they're doing? Okay, now I'm gonna ask you a few colors here since they're so bright and You know somebody who's not colorblind will definitely be able to identify them. This will help me to see if you are colorblind Can you tell me what color this is? Green, good Let's go ahead and switch. So Tell me what they are doing Brushing their teeth very good. Okay, here we have a bunch of kids, right? Okay, and what are they doing? What do they seem to be doing? Look at their legs. They're running. Good. This is one of my favorites and I'm just curious if you're able to tell what they're doing. She's whispering. She's whispering. She's whispering in his ear. And this one is kind of the same thing, right? They're whispering. Good. Let's go ahead and flip this one. Okay, so what does it look like they're doing here? What does this look like? It's a ball, volleyball. And what color is it? Yellow. So are they playing volleyball? That's good. Okay, the 
this boy, what does it look like he's doing? Playing. Yeah, he's swimming actually. Okay. Okay, what color is this? Yeah, they're jumping. Exactly. Okay, we have one more action here. Can you tell me what color this is? It's blue and it's water. Very good. And what does this person do? She's a swimmer. Yeah. Very good. Now, I have here some improvised cards. I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. And we're going to do the same thing. So, can you go ahead and tell me what you see right here? Okay, good. What color is this? Excellent. And what does this look like? Mm, good. Alright, this is a very simple one. What does this look like? Good. And what color is the card? Good. Okay. Yeah. What color is this? Blue. What does this look like? Perfect. Alright, go ahead and try to identify this. Good. And try to identify this as well. Very good. What color is this? Purple. What color is this? Pink. Okay. There seems to be no problems with your chromatic perception I'm just going to put gloves on and I'll start palpating your eye Okay, go ahead and tell me if you feel any kind of pain, okay? Okay. Go ahead and tell me if you feel any kind of pain. Just slowly pushing down to see if there is any edema. Okay. Go ahead and look right here for me. Right here. Good. Okay. 
Okay, go ahead and tell me when you don't see my fingers in your field of vision. So, your field of vision is kind of like this as you're looking forward at me. And I need you to not turn your head left or right, up or down, okay? Now. 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 Okay. Okay. Right now I'm gonna have you tell me which fingers are moving left or right. So I'm going to move either left or right hand and I'm gonna need you to tell me to identify which one it is, okay? Good. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and write this down. What we're gonna need to do is to change your prescription. So what I think is happening is that your lenses are a little bit too high now and your vision check, your vision is actually improving. Yeah, so that's why it's getting a little bit blurry. So we're gonna go from negative two to negative 1.5. Okay, and that's gonna be only on the right eye. All right, we're going to go ahead and prescribe new lenses. Is that okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for me? That was very easy to do and I'm happy that I was able to fix your vision. We're gonna go ahead and have you check out with our secretary over there and I'll see you back soon.